my name is Anna Tidbent, so welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going through this leak code problem set and focusing on the solution for number 59, Spiral Matrix 2, and the solutions done in Python. And again, if you've seen the last videos, I am just going through these solutions because I did these while I was on a three-week vacation. So without further ado, let's jump into this solution. My submission was not terrible, and if it loads here, uh, you can see that my runtime beat 81% of users using Python and then 76% of users um, in memory who use Python. So overall, I feel pretty good about this, um, this solution. I don't think I ever need to redo it, but uh, yeah. So let's, let's jump into this. It's going to be a little bit wordy because I went through and did these four loops. I did like a bajillion of them. Um, so let's, let's jump on in here. So right off the rip, we have this matrix equals zero, which basically we initialize an N by N matrix and fill it with zero. So this matrix will be populated with the spiral order of values. Um, and you guys can read the question on your own time, but this is how I wanted to set this up right off the get go to, to emulate this situation. And then you see here we have this left, right, top, bottom situation, which is just to keep track of the boundaries of the box. Um, or I'm sorry, the boundaries of the matrix, rather. Um, and then those variables represent the limits of the current spiral. I then initialize the variable num to one, which just represents the value to be placed within the matrix itself. Um, and then from there, we jump into this while loop that continues as long as num uh, is less than or equal to n by n. And also I just wanna make sure I'm saying less than or equal to correctly because I did mess it up in one of my videos. Someone commented on that and I'm sorry. Sometimes I have a smooth brain moment where I'm trying to think of my process of these things. So less than <laughs> or equal to n by n. And that basically just operates until all of the elements in that matrix are filled. So inside this loop, we have four nested four loops. So each is kind of responsible for filling one side of the spiral um, from right, down, left, uh, up with values. So the right side, which is this, um, this left to right, uh, will go along that top row. And then you have this top down, which goes obviously from the top down of the rightmost column. Um, and then you have right to left, which is the bottom row, and then the upside, which iterates from the bottom to the top of the leftmost column that I can go to of that current later layer. So for each iteration there, you have the current value num, which is then placed into the place on the matrix and then incremented by one. So after each side is filled, uh, we basically have a respective boundary value of left, right, top, and bottom, um, and it's adjusted to move the boundaries inwards for the next layer. So for example, this would be a layer and then we move inwards as we go over. And this is just so if you have, you know, an n by n matrix that's 20 and 20, you're not going around in a circle. It moves you over so that you can keep going into that spiral for for lack of a better term um, so that's just that just continues until the elements in the matrix are filled with those values and then the matrix is then the returned result so we are just generating in this code the square matrix spiral order and starting from the top left moving over to the right bottom down to the left or right to left then up and then or incrementing that that direction. Um, and it is a continuous loop of four nested four loops. So I hope that made sense to everyone. Um, again, this solution was pretty good. I think I would like to make it a little less wordy in the future, but that is what this journey is for, right? It's to try something, learn something, get better at something. So I'm going to leave this code in the GitHub repo link down below, which is for all of the lead code solutions in their tutorials. You guys are more than welcome to fork and clone, make it better, make it worse, have some fun, learn something new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.